Pottery, and my summer project for this year is on plastics and their effects on the environment. So I'd like to start by explaining how plastics are made. They start off as crude oil, or also known as petroleum, which takes millions of years to even become what it is. And then it goes through a process called fractional distillation, where the oil is boiled up, and when it's a gas, it's then condensed into the separate different oils for different functions. And then cracking, though it sounds a bit informal, it is when it's thermally broken down into the building blocks that make the different plastics that we know. Linking then creates them into different forms, such as bottles, the chairs we're sitting on, straws, and so on. And then shaping makes them into the different forms physically. So there is some that don't change form, there's some that you can melt and change form afterwards. So these are the forms of plastics that we see every day. The water bottle, where you go to the store, you drink it, you use it and then throw it away. It's not very uh, durable. There's disposable straws where you go to a restaurant, take away a drink, and then throw it away. And worst of all, the plastic bag, which isn't durable, it's handy, but then it practically lasts forever. So I chose to do my project on plastic bags. And here's why. Different materials take different amounts of time to decompose back into the ground. So a paper bag would take about a month, but as you can see, a plastic bag, because it's made up of chemicals and it's bonded to stay for a long time, will take up to a thousand years. Which means a plastic bag that you use today, your grandchildren's grandchildren, it'll be there. It will not go back into the ground. So this is the unfortunate process. We use a plastic, we throw it away. It ends up in water bodies, as you can physically see in the river that we have flowing in Nairobi, or it goes into landfills and never decomposes. This does affect animals around us, marine animals. It either suffocates them, as you can see in the picture, or it enters the digestive system and they end up not being able to digest anything else and die. We may eat those animals before they die and it will affect us. So we think when we throw away this plastic, it's not our responsibility, but it comes back to you. This is how it affects us. When plastics enter your body, they are chemicals that are very much so like hormones and they disrupt how your body works and your brain gets confused and each and every cell changes the way it works. This can cause diseases such as cancer and heart disease because your blood is made up of cells. It also disrupts your digestive system because if you eat an animal that has had plastic in it, your body is just working and working and working and nothing's happening. There's nothing positive that comes from plastics. As a child, I know I've accidentally chewed gum before, swallowed gum before, and that apparently takes seven years to digest. That small little piece of gum goes through your body for seven years and doesn't give you any benefits. So imagine plastic that's also releasing chemicals. So these plastics affect the world, a global scale issue. And Kenya has also realized this issue, and the government organization NEMA, which stands for the National Environment Management Authority, they work towards improving the environment and making it safe to live in by putting up policies. And a recent policy is the ban of plastic bags that is being enforced by Monday, which means that after that, you will no longer go to the store and have a convenient bag to take home and never use again. This law had been put up six months before, so it gives manufacturers and importers time to stop bringing in plastic bags and shops to get rid of whatever <coughs> plastics they have left. This also includes flat bags, which is what we know as for using to throw away our rubbish. They're just dust, plain dustbin bags, the black ones. So I came up with some objectives after viewing this. 
I want you to create awareness of the issue because people just feel like they're being inconvenienced by no longer having a plastic bag to carry around. But it is an actual issue and the government has actually put work into realizing what is best for Kenya. So I would like to create awareness towards people so that they know why they're being inconvenienced. Also to provide a solution for shoppers because them not having plastic bags won't just automatically no longer be a problem. I would like to bring a way of allowing shoppers to actually have a way to carry their shopping home. And also to influence others after this project that I'm doing. So my targets were friends and close family because they're quick to contact and it's good to start at home. So I went ahead and I told them about the issue and I told them what I was doing and got some friends along with me. Um, also shoppers because they are my ideal market for helping ch change their set mindset and also afterwards my school. So to start off, I got my friends, a few of my school friends, to walk around my neighborhood with me and to pick up only plastics and we filled those three dustbin bags. And you can just see how plastics will just lie around and stay there for practically forever. And it's just painful to see how physically hurt the environment is. And that was only a small area around my house. Afterwards, I aim to find a durable shopping bag that could be a good alternative for the paper bags that we used to use. I thought of different options. I started with the paper bag, but then realized it's not even as durable as the plastic bags we use. They'll tear easily, and also they're another problem to the environment as they will use up trees. And then I thought about the non-woven bags that you've been seeing in supermarkets in replace for the plastic bags. I did my research and found out there are still some elements of plastic in the non-woven bags, so it is not as eco-friendly as they look. And my final option was cloth, because they're quite stylish, it's funky to use, and also they're durable. You can wash them, use them again, and they won't tear as easily as the other options. So how I did this is I went to town and bought some containing materials to see if that would be a useful um, way of making bags and then found a tailor to make them into some stylish looking shopping bags. So you are practically my first customer. Is it a straw? Don't tell me it's a freaking no. straw. That's plastic. No, it's a simple. Oh, oh man. Show me.
and that plastic bottle that you're thinking of going to the shop to use, just think twice before buying it. This is our world, we don't get enough.